All right, YouTube, today is Black Friday, I guess. I don't even know what it is. I guess it's Black Friday. Um, I don't know what the actual date is. All right, this is the day after Thanksgiving. I didn't celebrate, I don't celebrate anything. Um, but I have been focused since my birthday. Uh, my birthday was August 4th, so I'm gonna say mid-August. So mid-November, mid no, mid-December would be four months. I've been bulking, all right? Um, how much do I weigh? I don't actually know. I'm gonna give it an educated guess. I'm probably right under 190. I'm probably 185, 190. I haven't been getting on the scale. But I do wanna talk about, since I'm thinking about going back on my diet, I'm gonna talk about the two main things that I recommend people do first when they start getting on the diet. Cause I know New Year's is coming. And a lot of people like to wait till New Year's to start their diet, and I don't agree with it. Um, Type in Rapid Time Fitness. Don't wait for New Year's if you need New Year's motivation. My, my style, my way. Um, but the two main things that I think people should start with, with dieting, is learn how to actually weigh yourself, all right? A lot of people are weighing themselves at any given time, no matter how much clothes they got on, no matter how much, no matter what time of the day, different times of the day, uh, they're just all over the place, so they just get on the scale. You know, they can have a million pounds of things in their pocket and they just get on the scale and they count that. You know what I'm saying? Um, or they could have just ate a big meal and they get on the scale. They're like, oh, I gained five pounds. No, you got a big meal inside of you. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about that. Weighing yourself when you first wake up after you use the bathroom with as little to no clothes as possible in your own home, in your own privacy. You don't got to be in front of everybody, all right? Whatever you're comfortable with. Some people ain't comfortable with doing that by yourself. But whatever you, the, the least amount of clothes that you're comfortable with, because you want to be actually wearing yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to wake up, go through your whole day, work, eat, sleep, whatever. I mean, go through your whole day and then get on the scale. No. You don't want to be getting on the scale at the gym. I'm at the gym. I'm going to get on the scale. Now, you can get on the scale. Don't get me wrong. But don't count that as your weighing that you're, uh, your weigh in that you're, uh, trying to document. So that's number one. Stop. Learn how to weigh yourself properly. All right. And number two, simply find your maintenance calories. All right. Learn how to find your maintenance calories. Find out how much food you're currently eating. And if you're trying to lose weight, cut that slightly. All right, don't go from eating 5,000 calories a day to eating 2,000 calories a day. That's 3,000 calories a day that you're cutting out of your daily diet. You're gonna be starving. You're gonna be weak. Your energy is gonna be gone. No, you wanna cut that slightly, all right? If you're eating 5,000 calories a day, I'm just throwing out a number. The average American probably eats almost 5,000 calories a day. Type in Rapid Time Fitness, the average American calories. And it, it, I have videos about this where I literally broke it down, all right? So if you don't believe me, all right, just give it a chance. Um, so you want to find out how many calories you're eating and you want to eat accordingly, all right? So there's other things. I'm just going to give y'all those two things. Uh, some, I'm going to give y'all more later on. And I've already I've already went through all of this already. I've been on YouTube for like, what, four years? I don't know. I've been on YouTube about four years. So I've, I've, I've taught all this already. You type in Rapid Time Fitness and something that you, that you personally need um do the fitness and guess what i got a video about it already not one that i'm driving a car freestyling off the top of my head like this one no one that i actually written matter of fact i'm gonna put the one of my best ones that i recommend for most people is uh my top 10 misconceptions about weight loss that way you can know what to not do all right um that's a, that's the main thing is like people always wonder what what to do but you already you need to find out which mistakes you are already making so you can stop making those mistakes. That will help you tremendously. That will give you, that will take you to another level almost automatically, right? So that, and plus in that video, I also told you what I do, every, everything. If you watch that video, I promise you probably won't even need to watch the other videos I just recommended. I probably shouldn't tell y'all that. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. I'm about to get some fast food. Also teach you how to cheat, what to cheat, when to cheat, how to cheat, what to do after a cheat. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. Every time I finish, man, peace.